Rose. Rose. Yes, ma'am. Uh, this is Clara Looper. Yes, Miss Looper. How are you? Here? I am fine. The world is mine. I just got to go out and get it. <laughs> Did you hear on radio where Clyde Ellis has won the championship for eight consecutive years? No, I didn't. I just got in from uh, the pastor's anniversary. Oh, Reverend Jackson. How long has no, he been no, at... No, Reverend uh, Curry. We was over there for his anniversary. Reverend who? Curry. Oh, I see. Now, did you know that Clyde Ellis, a graduate of Dungy High School, has won the track meet for eight consecutive years at John Marshall High School? Wonderful. Well, what I would like for you to do is uh, invite him out to dinner, free. Well, tell him to come right on. Okay, to Rose's Restaurant. Now, tell me what you have out there. Well, now, my menu for tomorrow will be uh, barbecue ribs and um, baked chicken and dressing and pot roast of beef and catfish and vegetables. I'm having snowflake potatoes, candy yams, cut green beans, whole kernel corn. And butter spinach. Oh, well, that's interesting. Where are you located? 4705 North Lincoln. Now, you have told us that you are the Soul Foods headquarters. Is that right? That's right. I didn't say right. foods. I say Soul Food headquarters. Soul I want to make sure my radio audience understands me. Yeah. <clears throat> Soul Food. And uh, what I have going now, Miss Lupa, I have um, changed the new albums. I'm open till 8 till 9. 8 p.m. to 9, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Now, let's get it straight. When are you okay. open? <laughs> when are you open? 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. Okay, then. That's on Lincoln Boulevard, 4701. 4705 North, 4705 North of Lincoln Boulevard. Uh -huh. Thank you so very kindly, Rose. Let me ask you, do you have that breakfast ready for the lovely Miss Black Oklahoma contestants? Yes, I've already prepared it. <clears throat> You've already what? I've already uh, got the menu for it. Okay, I, for a minute I thought you had already prepared it, oh, and I said, no, we don't want no day-old breakfast. Okay. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Rose. Okay? Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye. KAEC Radio here in Oklahoma City. You have asked me about the 1983 Miss Black Oklahoma pageant. Let me give you some facts. Fact number one, you had better get your ticket in a hurry. The reason is simple. The Miss Black Oklahoma pageant is always a sellout, but more so this year. Those of you that are coming plan to dress semi-formal because we know we want you to look good just like you always do. You will have to be there. Now, remember, the pageant starts at 7.30 p.m. You need to be there about 25 minutes to 7. That's when the doors will open. Once the doors are open, they will stay open until 7.20, and the doors will be closed. Now, we don't want that door to close on you. The auditorium will be divided up into sections according to cities. And those of you from various cities, you will look for a sign which will read uh, your city, and you will be seated there. That's why it's important that we know now whether you are coming. From Ardmore, Oklahoma, Miss Black, o Miss Black Ardmore, coming to Oklahoma City after the prizes, and all these young ladies have told me they are going to win it. From Ardmore, LaDonna Sharace. From Cameron University, Lawton, Oklahoma, Larita Phillips. Now, those of you that are from Lawton and Ardmore, I want you to call me because we want to put all of you people together. We don't want to have you Ardmore people sitting in the Lawton section. From Chickasha, Oklahoma, it's Vanessa Smith, and this will be good news from the people to the people out in the Dungy area because Vanessa Smith is the daughter of Charles Smith, a graduate of Dungy High School. But here's a section, Clearview, Oklahoma. You might not believe this, people, but I'm going to have to tell you the truth. Clearview, Oklahoma, located in Oak Fustick County, who has a lovely young lady, Gina Barrett, has ordered nearly a hundred seats. That's unbelievable, but it's true. Dale City, Oklahoma, Sherry Andrews. Edmond, Oklahoma, Terry Francis. El Reno, Oklahoma, Shirley Butler. Forest Park, Aisha Black. Langston University, Sheila 
Jones. Now, Dr. Holloway has made it clear that he expects Langston University to walk off with Miss Black Oklahoma for the third consecutive year. If that happens, he's going to put a big sign out, out at Langston which says, Langston University, the home of the Miss Black Oklahomans, Black Oklahoma winners. From Northeastern A&M College in Miami, Oklahoma, Trenda Martin. Oklahoma City, Diana McMorris. Oklahoma State University, Sonia Ewan. Oklahoma University, Deborah Votois. From Shawnee, Oklahoma, Arvana Hardin. Spencer, Oklahoma, Gloria Fulmer. Spring Lake Park, Sharon Toes. Tulsa will select its winner next Saturday night. And last but not least, Midwest City. And I have here in the studio Miss Black Midwest City. How are you today? I'm doing just fine, Miss Looper. Well, you sure look pretty today. I'm telling you, you're just so beautiful. What Thank is your you. name? My name is Lachey Reed. Lachey Reed, you are in school where? At the Oscar Rose Junior College. Why did you get in Miss Black Midwest City? I felt it to be a very enriching experience and a very grand opportunity for me, one that I would always remember for the rest of my life. Well, I told you that this is going to be some pageant, but what I didn't give you was the name of some of the judges that will determine whether you will win it. One judge is Dr. Carol Hardeman, who's an executive down at Oklahoma University, Mr. Odura Asata, who is from Nigeria but who is now living in Osage County. Mr. Fred Sanders, a manager of a large real estate company in Dallas, Texas. Mrs. Linda Evans, who has lived on the West Coast in the United States and who is flying in here. Mr. Oren Johnson of Langston University. Mrs. M. L. Sanders of Holdenville, Oklahoma. Mr. Ray Freeman, who's head of the Black Caucus in Colorado Springs, Colorado. And I could go on, but I don't want to tell everything that I know, just most of it. These are judges that will be coming here to judge. Now, after listening at the judges and listening at the contestants, do you think you can bring that honor to Midwest City? I sure do. In fact, I know that I can. What kind of talent do you have? I speak. Oh, you really can speak. What are you going to speak about as your talent? Well, I'm going to do a religious speaking dealing with the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Are you doing the one by James Weldon Johnson? Uh, no, it's going to be one that I've put together myself. Oh, my you parents. are a writer. You yeah. are a writer. I mean, my parents put this together. Who, who are your parents? Uh, Reverend and Mrs. J.A. Reed, Jr. Is that the Reverend Reed, who is the pastor of the Fairview Baptist Church? The one and only. The one and only. Let me ask you, do you love him? I love him. Why? Because he's mine. <laughs> oh, he's yours. Well, a lot of people try to fam you think he's there. <laughs> and every time I say something about Reverend Reed on radio, I get a call from the people out in fam you. And I hate to tell Reverend Reed something. Some of them are very religious people, but they'll curse me out for talking, <laughs> for talking about him. And you really think that you will win it. I know it. I've noticed the ads that have come in. Mm -hmm. The people have supported you in this community. Mm -hmm. And I know you are grateful. Would you take time now to say thanks to the people that have supported you? I want to say thank you to everyone who has supported me in this pageant. And I want to say thank you, first of all, to my parents. And I love them dearly for backing me up 100%. Well, that's really interesting. I noticed, too, that you are on your way to the state pageant. I sure am. I'm very excited about it. I'm excited about it, too, because just think, whoever wins it, we will sit down together and decide where we will go. I wonder if you should win it now. We're going to have to decide immediately. Where do you want to go, Lachey? Well, I've always wanted to go to Florida. You want to go to Florida? Mm. Well, I don't want to go to Florida. What are we going to do when we be arguing over where you want to go and where I want to go? How are we going to get it together? Well, we can compromise in some way. Well, I think you're a very beautiful young lady if you understand the arts of compromising. Thank you. Thank you so very kindly, and thank you for being my very distinguished guest today. And incidentally, some of your friends out there might want some tickets. How can they contact you? And I know you're from John Marshall High School, and all those bears will be there pulling for you, and you're the only one in here from John Marshall. Well, if anyone wants to contact me, they can call me at the number 733-4404, or they can call my dad's office 
His number is 235-8820. Okay, thank you so very kindly for being my guest, and thank I'll see you, you real Cooper. soon. Now, those of you out in Radio Land today, we're going to kind of do a little survey. I know you want to buy some tickets, and Shelly, are you selling tickets too? Yes. Okay. Now, we let me tell you who all's out here. Miss Midwest City, Shelly is here, and I'm here. And Miss El Reno is here, and I want Miss El Reno to meet Miss Midwest City in order that they can get to be friends because, you know, we have a popularity award. We have a congeniality where the girls vote themselves. Now, I would like for you to call me today here at KAEZ Radio and tell me which city you think will take state. Let me name the cities again. Ardmore, Lawton, Oklahoma, Central, uh, Chickasha, Oklahoma, Clearview, Oklahoma, Dale City, Edmond, El Reno, Forest Park, Langston University, Midwest City, Northeastern A&M, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma State, Oklahoma University, Shawnee, Spencer, Spring Lake Park, and Tulsa. Let's see who you think will take state. We would like to know. And those of you that need some tickets, call us, and you may buy your tickets directly from us, or you may buy them at Barnett's Affair here in Oklahoma City, or you may buy it at Portwood's Fashion Jewelry, or you might call me, and we will give it to either one of these sections. But the main thing we want to do is to get you in the right section. Call us, and what is the number here, Shelley? 424-3376. And we'll let you know what the public out there is thinking. We have promised you the best, and we're going to give you the best. Ladies and gentlemen, the Clara Luper Radio Show and this part of our radio show is an exciting part. I do have some dignitaries here. I have a bunch of your cousins here, don't I, Lachey? Is, are they all cousins? Just one. Oh, I just have one cousin here. That's good. And I see Mr. Willie Carter, who's also a graduate of Dungy High School, and I know you are happy about your classmate, Clyde Ellis. But, ladies and gentlemen, the pages of American history are filled with the lives of men that have changed the course of history. And among those that have changed the course of history is a young man who was born in what was known as the slum areas of America and who has become the Jackie Robinson of the restaurant business here in Oklahoma City. You remember Jackie Robinson was the one that blazed the way in a unique field. He blazed away in organized baseball. But Cleo Fields has blazed away in the restaurant business, becoming the first of his race to own a restaurant in a large motel in the state of Oklahoma. And certainly as we look at the pages of history, as we see so many people talking about what can't be done, we would have to salute Cleo Fields for what he has done. Congratulations, Mr. Fields, and I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Ms. Luper. Now, I've invited you here today because I wanted to talk about Cleo Fields, who's celebrating his first anniversary. I want you to tell me something about Cleo Fields. Well, I'd like to say, uh, Ms. Luper, uh, thanks to everybody, the churches, you and others that have supported us so so very much the last year. We've been there one year in April, and uh, we, we feel like it was a successful year. We made a lot of friends, and I just want to say thanks to everybody for coming to Cleo's Restaurant. Now, where is Cleo's Restaurant located? 51st, 935 in Southgate Inn Hotel. Now, what kind of service do you offer the public? We open from 6 a.m. until 10 p.m., uh, we offer a complete breakfast menu uh, that we feel, I'd like to say, that's right on time with um, economy and, 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 and prices that everybody can afford. We offer a daily buffet that we're very proud of. And if you have not tried our luncheon buffet that's from 11 a.m. to 2 every day, except Saturday, uh, you have really missed a treat. Oh, you're talking about your buffet. How can we try a buffet when we don't even know what you're talking about? Okay, I'd like to say this. We have, uh, on this beautiful serving line, we have that you serve yourself. We have four meats. Four um, meats? Two, right, four meats, including carved roast beef. Uh, we have an assortment of vegetables, uh, beautiful salad bar with in the neighborhood of 20 to 22 salads on it daily. Uh, complete 
dessert bar that you serve yourself, including hot cobbler. You have that? Yes. Okay, sure, that sounds good. That sounds exciting that you can have four different meats, but who can afford it? The, everyone can afford it because we have the pr prices where everyone can afford it. And like I say, if you haven't tried it or come out just one time, it's no way that you can believe it can be so into your budget. Uh, it's probably the, the cheapest and the best way to go. And, Miss Looper, I'd like to say something else to the public. We're doing a thing starting Wednesday of this week to get more people to come out and, and, and see what we have to offer. Um, in addition to our low prices as they are today, anyone that come out and mention your name, Miss Looper. Oh, what, uh, Clara Looper? Clara Looper. Uh, they will automatically get, you know, we hear about the rebates in cars and all that. You're going to get a rebate on your food at Cleo's restaurant if Miss Clara Looper's name is mentioned. Oh, I love that. I can see all of my, let's see, I have a lot of friends here from Vietnam. I can just see my Vietnamese friends going out there saying in their own language, Clara Looper. Now, what are you going to do if you can't understand the language? Hey, if they can just kind of make a sign and make us know who you are. They they still get the discount. And my white friends, my <laughs> white friends be running because, see, I have some white friends that always tell me that, you know, black people never try to do anything. They don't own anything. If I knew some black folks that had something, I would do this. Now, white folks, I have you on the spot. Now, I do, and uh, my black friends, I can just see my black friends going out to Cleo's restaurant. Now, let me mention the name again they're supposed to mention. Clara, Clara Looper. Looper. Clara Looper from Hoffman, Oklahoma. <laughs> I'd like to say one more thing, Ms. Looper. Sure, you can uh, say two more. Children under two are free. Uh, children under what? Under two. You had me scared for a minute. I have a granddaughter who's five, okay, four. The, and I was thinking, now you say children under two. Are free from 12 and under, from 12, tw up to 12 are half price. Okay, what about... The senior citizens. You know, as you get old, you, that meat doesn't have an appeal. Your teeth are gone. What kind of consideration are you giving to the senior citizens? Okay, for the next two weeks, doing this is a special, and it will always be a discount, but for the next two weeks, they can count at least 20% off, and if they mention Clara Lupa's name, they get even more. Okay, well, and I... This is for the senior citizens. Well, I want to see some of those courting senior citizens. I have more senior citizens up to jail... Center. I have them here at Oklahoma City that's just courting. And I'm proud of you all that courting because when you get 83, you're just right to court. Now, all you have to do is to get you a ride and you are driving. Get on out to, to Cleo's restaurant. Cleo, last week I had the opportunity to bring over 50 students out to your restaurant. And I have never heard such nice things as I heard about your food. Thank you. They were the most beautiful. They they were uh, a class from John Marshall High School. They were the sweetest children we've ever served. They were just in. They were just involved. It just made it worth it to us. You're really a great businessman because when the Star Spencer students came out there, well mannered and well dignified, yeah. you say they were the most beautiful. They just get better all the time. Okay. <laughs> okay. And then you will have other people that will be coming out there, out, out to your restaurant, Clara Lupa, KAEZ Radio, here in Oklahoma City. I'm talking about, I'm talking to a young man who is certainly a pioneer and deserves a place in the hearts of all of you in Oklahoma City. And I'm very serious. I think that. We need to give justice where justice is. Now, if I didn't like the food, I would tell you that I didn't like the food. Very true. I promise you she would tell you if she didn't like it. But I love it. I would like to meet your lovely workers from Thank Cleo's you. Restaurant. Uh, I have Sharon with us, a head waitress. That you have Sharon, your head that, waitress? That ha is now celebrating her one year's vacation. One year's vacation? What yes. do you mean one year? She has been she's off of been, work? No, she's been there one year working. Oh, you say one year vacation. Oh, I'm now sorry. I got my okay. <laughs> I, I was just going to say, I, every time I've gone out there, I have seen her. I would like to welcome you to the Clara Looper Radio Show, the show that people are still talking about. Well, thank you very much, and I'm glad to be here. And I'd like to welcome everyone to Cleo's next Wednesday, starting for our first anniversary, and we're going to bring it off with uh, some summer fun. We're going to have. Um, candy balloons for the children. I'm sure you'll enjoy our buffet. 
And you can come in any time. We'd love to have you, and we're looking forward to all of you. What kind of balloons did you say you were going to have? We're going to have helium balloons and candy, probably small balloons for smaller children to play with. And Okay, well, that's really good. Now, I wouldn't dare miss this other young lady that has added okay. so much to Cleo's restaurant. Would you introduce her to our radio audience, please? Doris, Doris uh, this is Doris Campbell, our manager. Uh, Doris, come into my parlor, please. Hi, I want Ms. you to enjoy. Lopez. Oh, I am fine, Doris. <laughs> you look so pretty today. Thank you. What's going on as you see it out to Cleo's restaurant? Oh, everything. We have a lot of fun. We enjoy meeting it, all new faces of the restaurant. I also like to add that next week, celebrating our anniversary, our waitresses will be dressed up in something unusual. We'll also have a clown out there for the children. And we're inviting all of our friends and everyone in the Oklahoma community to come and see us. Well, certainly, congratulations are in order for you on your first anniversary, Doyce. You are the manager of Cleo's Restaurant. Is that True? Yes, it is, ma'am. Is Cleo restaurants available for banquets and what have you? Yes, Clara. We have a banquet room that will hold up to 150 people comfortably. We also uh, come and meet the people. that I, We invite them out to have a free dinner on us to see, to get to know us to see the atmosphere that's there in the restaurant. We also have smaller banquet rooms that's available also for the smaller groups. Well, that is just out of sight. Thank you so very kindly for being my guest. And I'm talking to Doyce, the manager of Cleo's Restaurant in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. One more thing that I would like for Cleo to say to you before he leaves. He told me that his waitress was celebrating uh, her first year's vacation. <laughs> and I doubt if, he, she, if she's had time for a vacation. Yes, Cleo. Uh, for, the, for the people that have requested, the church people mainly that have requested, we leave out buffet open longer on Sundays. I'd like to say that our new hours for our luncheon buffet on Sundays are from 11.30 a.m. until 4 p.m. So for, th for the ones of you that have been getting out of church a little late on Sundays, please come out to Cleo's anyway because we will have the buffet open until 4, at least 4 p.m. on Sundays, from 11.30 until 4 p.m. On Sundays. What is that telephone number out there in case someone would like to call and arrange some group meetings? That number is 672-9280-R672-9284. Thank you so very kindly. Remember, get on out to Cleo's and call the name Clara Looper. Congratulations on your 14th Miss Black, Oklahoma, comes from Sir Charles the Taylor, located at 6225 Southeast 15th Street here in Oklahoma City. The telephone number is 733-7600. Sir Charles the Taylor says, come on out and get fitted in order that you can be ready for the, your summer vacation. The House of Bingo. The bingo house that gives away more money than any other house in Oklahoma City. It's located at 3613 North Everest Street. It's open six days a week. The telephone number is 427-9238. It opens at 7 o'clock. Now, be sure and get in there at 7 o'clock because he's packing the house. That's Mr. George Singer. And he's open from 7 until 11 p.m. While you are in the Northeast Shopping Center, stop into Seals Cleaners, 3617 North Everest Street here in Oklahoma City. Seals is an equal uh, employment business. The telephone number is 427-8362 and is open 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. and it gives one day service. That's Seals Cleaners here in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. As we approach the end of school, there are so many things that we would like to do for so many people. I have a suggestion. Why don't you send flowers? If you are thinking about flowers for any occasion, weddings, anniversaries, or what have you, remember Exotic Plants, located at 3667 North Elvis Street here in Oklahoma City. Now, at Exotic Plants, you can get the best prices and the best quality of flowers in Oklahoma City. I want you to just try 
Call another florist company, go by, and then go come back to Exotic Plants. The telephone number is 424-7659. How do you say congratulations to a group of young people that were so kind to have honored you as the students at North East High School did me on last Monday night? I would like to thank the sponsor of the new homemakers and the lovely Mrs. Cub Pepper. I would like to thank you for the honor that you bestowed on me. I want you to know that I'm proud of the work that you're doing. I recognize the fact that you are training people to go into the real world, the business world, and certainly you are to be complimented. Please accept my sincere thanks, and I would like to thank Mrs. Tam Ms. Tammy uh, Leslie, who's the president of her group, and I would like to congratulate the group again for what they did for Clara Luper. Today is a very special day because uh, we do have some very outstanding guests here, and that's what the Clara Luper radio show is known for. We've had more people on this show than all of the other shows together. Dr. Walker from Lovely Products, how are you today? I'm doing just fine, Miss Luper. How are you? Okay, I want to make sure that you will tell my audience about Lovely. It's all yours. Well, Miss Looper, we at Lovely is uh, new in this area. We have been in existence, the Lovely Manufacturing Company, Lovely Products Company, for seven years. We have done extensive research on one product, which we are particularly proud of, and that is 335 Perm Grow and Repair. We encourage your audience to try it. It will be available at a number of outlets in the area immediately. It is something that is a product that is usable, something that is and has proven to be successful, and we hope that you will be satisfied with it. I understand that you are going through the country putting on seminars on behalf of Lovely. Yes, Ms. Looper, we were very honored to have been uh, the guest of uh, Eve's Beauty College in Hair Design in uh, Lawton this last Thursday. And uh, we might say that we were very pleased, and uh, we, we really enjoyed ourselves, Ms. Looper. Well, I certainly hope that the people really appreciate what you are doing. Let's talk about David Walker. They call him Dr. David Walker, the hair doctor. Dr. David Walker, I think that you have just gone all of the way. First, you win, you win the Bachelor of the Year by some 5,000 votes. Then you take over the responsibility of the NACP in El Reno, Oklahoma. Then you take Miss Black El Reno and make it a success. Now tell me, what's next for David Walker? Well, Ms. Lupa, the first thing I would like to do is thank the people of El Reno, the merchants, and the people of El Reno, as well as the people around the state that supported us in this promotion of the Miss Black El Reno pageant. Uh, as you said, it was our maiden visit to this uh, arena of pageantry, and it was quite enjoyable. It was a learning process. We hope that the upcoming years will have better participation, and more so we encourage the young ladies to contact us now for next year. And I might say along those lines, Ms. Looper, I have already seven young ladies committed for 1984 at this point. Well, that's good, but you have 1983 to work with. Do you think you will have a chance at the state page? Well, Ms. Looper, we come. I am a winner myself. Uh, I am... Uh, no, I'm not talking about David Walker. I'm talking about your contestant. I understand it. My contestant, I might say, would be a reflection of me. Being a winner myself, I would like to bring, and I come to the state to bring the winning contestant. We feel the home of Miss Black Oklahoma should be in El Reno, which is the home of the Bachelor of the Year for the Oklahoma in 82. And you think you're going to take Miss Black Oklahoma to El Reno? Miss Looper, we are coming with horse-drawn carriages just to take the queen home where she belongs on June the 4th. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sorry. You haven't heard about Vanessa Smith down in Chickasha, Oklahoma, Mr. Dr. Walker. Well, Miss Looper, I was very pleased and privileged to have been in the audience when she did her performance when she won. She's a very talented, beautiful young lady, as well as the others. But we just feel in El Reno we do have the top talent for 1983. Dr. Walker, I wish you could have been with me this evening between the hours of 4 and 6, because this evening... We celebrated 30 years of happy marriage. It was the assistant chief of police of Oklahoma City and his lovely wife, Mr. and Mrs. Gerald L. Emmett. I call him Chief and Mrs. Gerald L. Emmett. For 30 years, they have been in love. 
And today at the faculty house, their friends came. Their friends came from every direction. And as I looked through the crowd, I remembered a lot of their friends. For example, the Tyson girls were the talk of the town, two beautiful young ladies. Their parents ran the Midway Cafe, which I think was on 3rd and Durland Street. Dungy Skills Center, where is that located? Over there on Dungy, on Dungy you know. No, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I want you to tell my radio audience where it's located. It's near 12716 East Nelson. East what? Nelson. Nelson Street. Okay. Now, tell me what you're going to, what you came in to tell me about. Well, I go, well, I go to Rogers Miller School and I'm 14 and I'm the president of Roscoe Dungy Skill Center. And we will have a talent show coming up June 17. The time will be at 7.30 to 11. So come to our talent show. It's free. The other things we do up at the center, we have boxing, karate, and a, and a math class and more. So come to our center and come to our talent show. I'll be looking forward to seeing you. It was nice talking to you. I have three young ladies here with me who would like to introduce themselves. Okay, I would be happy for you young ladies to introduce yourselves. And you are? Delaina Hurst. Delana Hurst, do you have any talent? Yes. You will be on the talent show? Yes. What will you do? Sing. Play what can you band. sing? What can you sing? Sing a song, duet. Oh, you can sing a song. You sing a duet? Mm-hmm. Oh, I would like to hear that. I'm coming out there if you will sing a duet. And you are? Yes. Demetria Hurst. Your name is what? Demetria Hurst. Demetria Hurst. What role do you play in this organization? I dance. You dance. What kind of dancing do you do? All kinds. Oh, you can tap dance? Ballet, jazz. Okay, I didn't understand you. What can you do? Dance, all kinds. Okay, all kinds of dancing. You're going to be dancing on the talent show? Yes. Okay. And you? My name is Rhonda Lindsay. I am 14 years old, and I'm, I attended Roscoe Dungy Skills Center. Oh, you attend Roscoe Dungy Skills Center. Where do you go to school? At Rogers Middle School. Who's your teacher? I have six different teachers. Oh, I see. You have six. Who's your favorite teacher? Miss Brown. Oh, Miss Brown. I know that's good news. I wish you, some one of my students get on here and not tell me I was a favorite teacher the next morning. I'll be ready for it. Incidentally, you go to, you go to Rogers Middle School. Rogers Middle School. Uh, Mr. Carter, I want to know who's your sponsor. Who is your sponsor? Mr. Willie Carter. Mr. Willie Carter. Well, that's my student, Willie. Why are you involved in sponsoring a group of young ladies? Well, Miss Lupo, I just like working with the youth. And there's a lot of talent out there in the Spencer area. And we're open every day, Monday through Friday, from 6 to 8.30. Monday through Friday, and it's all free. From 6 to 8.30. It's all free? How do you finance it? Well, I'm just doing it with the help of the good Lord right now. I'm just making it as we go along, Miss Lupo. Well, I'm sure glad you have started trusting in the good Lord. <laughs> you know, when I told you, you didn't trust too much. Yeah. You were trusting in your fist. Yeah. And you did become a great boxer, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> Thank you so <laughs> Thank very you, kindly. Thank, Thank you, you so very kindly. And I'll see you. I want you to bring your young ladies to Miss Black, Oklahoma, okay. because I want you, I want them to see what can be done. This portion of our program certainly is brought to you by Allstate Insurance Company. Uh, Shelly, tell me about Allstate and Merlin. Merlin Hildred works for Allstate. She is one of the top Allstate insurance agents. Merlin sells home insurance, life insurance, and car insurance. Okay, so how do you get in contact with Merlin? Call 424 6863. Okay, now for our big news reporter today, Malachi. I would like I would like all my friends to buy a ticket from me, Malachi Brown, for the Miss Black Oklahoma pageant. Back to Clara. Okay, well, thank you so very kindly. You want? Okay, let's see how many friends you have that can buy a ticket. Shelly, what do you? What would you like? I would like to say for all my friends and enemies to buy a ticket for me for the Miss Black Oklahoma pageant. You don't have to be my friend. You can still buy a ticket from me. You don't have to be a child. You can still buy a ticket from me. You don't have to be a grown-up. You can still buy a ticket from me. <laughs> you don't have to be from Oklahoma. You can still buy a ticket from me. Well, you, you don't have to be from this world, but you can still buy a ticket. 
Okay, and the telephone number is what? Out here? Four two four three three zero six. Okay, you've heard Malachi and Shelley, and they want you to buy some tickets. Oh, Nita, before you give the funeral and death announcement, I understand that Mount Karma Homecoming Picnic Committee is having a meeting. When? Uh, Saturday, May the 21st at 10.30 a.m. at the New Bethel Baptist Church with the Reverend Basit as pastor. And they're asking all the former members and the present members are urged to attend this meeting to finalize the uh, preparation. And if there are any questions, please contact uh, Mrs. Catherine Broom at 424-3039. Mrs. Ethel Wilcock at 427-2990. Uh, Mrs. Naya Braxton at 771-4071. And that is the Mount Karma Homecoming Picnic. Committee, and they would like for you to please uh, come to the meeting Saturday, May the 21st, at the Rev New Bethel Baptist Church with the Reverend Basin Pastor. Now for our funeral and death announcements, and Onita, before you give them, I would just like to say today I do have two thank you notes. I have one from Mrs. Johnny Jones of Oklahoma City, and she would just like to say thanks to all of you for remembering her during the darkest hour of her life. That was the passing of her mother, Mrs. Bruna, down in Wewoka, Oklahoma. So from Johnny Jones here, Johnny says, thank you for remembering me. I have a thank you note from the Tugger family, Mrs. Viola Tugger. The lovely wife of Elder Willie Tugger would like to express her sincere appreciation, not only for herself, but for her family because you sent flowers and cards and your prayers and all of the acts of kindness during the illness and passing of her husband. And here's Onita. As we extend our sympathy tonight, Ralph Field Home would like to announce the services of Mr. James William, our 219 North Central. will be Tuesday at 11 a.m. in the Roth Memorial Chapel. Film service for Mrs. Marie Maxey, 1432 Northeast 36th Street, will be Monday at 11 a.m. in the Raw Memorial Chapel. Services for Mrs. Florence Scruggs Caldwell, formerly of Oklahoma City and was living out in California, is pending with the Raw Funeral Home. We would like to say to the families tonight, there is never a cross so heavy. But the nail-scarred hands are there, outstretched in tender compassion, the burdens to help us bear. There is never a heart so broken, but the loving Lord can heal. The heart that was pierced on Calvary does still for his loved one feel. Back to Clara. Onita, we do have the last-minute instructions. Florence Scruggs Cardwell's film will be Wednesday at 11 a.m. at the Greater Marshall Baptist Church here in Oklahoma City. Thank you. Now we come to a very important part of our program. This portion is brought to you by Mrs. King's Beauty Salon, located at 9614 Northeast of 23rd Street. Mrs. King's Beauty Salon offers the ladies in all kinds of hair do. The telephone number is 7697172. Say, if you have been to Chickasha, Oklahoma lately, I hope you have stopped by Mr. B's Club. You haven't seen anything until you see what Bobby Morgan has done down in Chickasha, Oklahoma. He has become another pioneer, becoming the first of his race to own a nightclub in a hotel. That's Mr. B's Brass Rail, 102 Chickasha Avenue, Chickasha, Oklahoma, the unique club for your entertainment. Bobby Morgan and his lovely wife, Theresa, would like to congratulate all of the contestants, but they believe that Chickasha is going to walk away with the prize. That's Vanessa Smith. Onita, we've heard a lot of talk recently, and I've just been flooded with calls to ask me had I heard from Mr. Ivory Butler, who is a super sanitation superintendent. The answer is no, I have not heard from Mr. Butler. But I would like to say to you, I will hear from Mr. Butler. Now, what those of you that are in public positions need to know that you don't belong to yourself. You are eaten out of the public's pie, 
and you have a you have some rights that the public recognizes and I would like to say that in a few weeks now school will be out and we will have nothing but time we will catch up with mr. Butler we know how to do it we know when to do it and we know where to do it we don't know anything about stop can't those are not in our vocabulary Yesterday, the History Department of John Marshall High School went to state, and we did except exceptionally well. We didn't win, but we really tried. The performance that was put on by the students were unbelievable, and we are looking forward to next year. You've heard a lot about student abuse and child abuse. We have something that the public is overlooking. We have teacher abuse. And today I would like to tell you what teacher abuse is. Teachers work hard in order to prepare their lessons. And teacher abuse occurs when a class come in and you have to tell them to shut up. That's teacher abuse. Teacher abuse is when parents send their children to school with stereos. That's teacher abuse. Teacher abuse is when students don't turn in their work. That's teacher's abuse. Now somebody's going to have to speak up for the teachers and somebody's going to have to listen. I'm hoping that every black parent, every black leader in the United States will become disturbed. When they tell us that 40% of our children cannot function in this society, somebody ought to get upset. And I think that all of us should be upset. And we are going to have to change our tunes. We are going to have to stop telling our young people what can't be done and tell them what must be done. I have no sympathy with those of you that are driving big cars, dressed up, looking good like people should, and you haven't taken out time to, t to teach your own child how to read. I think it's a shame. I think parents are going to have to take on their responsibilities. Now, we cannot control what happens to our kids after they get grown, but we can certainly control what happens to our children while they are growing up. We have parents that are working on two jobs to send their kids to school, and they are cutting classes. That's what you call parental and teacher abuse. I know that it's very difficult to teach the students when they aren't in school, and as yet in the Oklahoma City school system and in other school systems, we don't have classes in hallology or skipology. So therefore, teacher abuse is all around us. Now, those of you that are that I have not called, and many of you I have not called, but I know you want to come to Miss Black, Oklahoma, and today the calls have come in, and according to the results that we have, this is certainly a surprise from what we have and the calls that have come here today. People think that Chickasha, Oklahoma will take the prize. Now, I don't know. We will continue and find out exactly what you think. Okay. I want you to call me at 424-3949. Don't tell me how much you love me. Just tell me how much you love me. <laughs> Just tell me anyway, and I'm certainly kidding. I would like to thank all of you for being so kind. As I look at the clock on the wall, I know in one minute I'm going to have to say goodbye to all of you out in Radio Land. I really hate to say goodbye to you because you are so sweet and so kind and you listen so patiently. I would like to just say, tell you how much I appreciate it. And I want each one of you to know that I appreciate each one of you. And I would like to use my closing 30 seconds in saying that I am disturbed with how Langston University is treated every year. About the time that students get ready to decide what university, we come up with some bull corn. And I think all eyes should not be turned toward Langston University. And we must not move Langston. We must improve it. Like we got to improve everything else. Clara Loop is saying to you, see you at Miss Black, Oklahoma on June the 4th. And let anybody talk like they want to. Let me congratulate those kindergarten and preschools from the, the Church of Christ in Oklahoma City. I'll tell you about that next week. Bye-bye. The views expressed in the program just heard were those of our guests and not necessarily those of the staff or management of KAEZ. Easy. 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 Easy.
easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy.
easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. 
Easy. Easy.
ABC. Easy. 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 
see. Easy. 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 Easy.
ABC. Easy. 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 
easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. Easy. 
Agency. Easy. 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 